Now in this project file, we have a dimension style which have a pen one assignment, uh, and also we have a detail line we also which also have a pen one assignment, but their line weight looks very different. So the question is, why do they look so different? Now, because dimensions belongs to the annotative category of information inside the Revit program, so each time when you change the view scale, Revit will actually automatically adjust the uh, line weight of the dimension style and the text height and the tick mark sizes um, based on the scale you set for the view. Now, in this view, we, we have set it to 3 16th of an inch equal to 1 foot 0 inch. Now, if we change the scale setting, the line weight and the tag height will change with it. So if we change the scale from 3 16th of an inch equal to 1 foot 0 inch, we change it to half inch equal to 1 foot. Now, you will see that the contrast between the dimension line and the detail line is diminishing. Uh, well, it's actually less now. Now, if we change the scale again to 3 inch equal to 1 foot, then you see that the two line weight is virtually identical. This is the detail line, and this is the dimensions uh, line. Now, if you want to make both of these line uh, print at the same line weight, there's two options. The first option is to make the dimension line thinner to match the detail line. Now to do that, we have to go to Manage tab, select Additional Setting, Cascade Down, and then select Line Weight. Now the Line Weight dialog box opens up, and you can see that under the 316 equal to 1 foot 0 inch scale, which is our current view scale, pen number 1 is set to 0 0.005 inches wide. Now we need to toggle to annotative line weight tab and then change the pen uh, width for pen assignment number one to point zero zero five to match the detail line. So we select apply and then select OK. Now you can see that the two line have the same line weight. Now, the other option to adjust the line weight is to make the detail line uh, wider to match, uh, to match the dimension lines. So we go to additional setting, click on line weight, and we're going to go to uh, the annotative line weight. We know that right now this is uh, being drawn at uh, 0.0118 inch wide, so we go back to model line weight and change pen number one assignment to be 0 0.0118 eight of an inch to match the annotative line weight pen number one. So we select OK, apply and then select OK. You can see that it's virtually identical in terms of line weight now. Now that we have the detail line and the dimension line line weight matches up nicely, uh, what happens if we change the scale factor of the view? So let's try it. So we click on the scale, uh, scale list and change the scale to 3 eighths of an inch, go to 1 foot 0 inch. You can see that, let's zoom in, take a look, and you can see that the dimension line is actually wider than the detail line again, so they don't match up anymore. So what happens is that when you change view scale, Revit actually assign a different width to pen number one. Now this is this can be adjusted in the table under the line weight dialog box. So if we click on edit additional setting, click on line weight, you can see that at 3 16 of an inch equal to one foot seal in scale, pen number one is being drawn at 0.0118 inches wide. Now that we change to 3 eighths of an inch equal to 1 foot 0 inch, pen number 1 is being drawn at 0.0071 inch wide. So it's actually quite different in terms of weight. 
So we can actually change that if we want to match this up. So we want pen number one in 3 eighths of an inch equal to 1 foot 0 inch to be the same line weight as in 3 16 scale. So we're just going to highlight this um, pen weight and we're going to use the keyboard control C, copy it to the clipboard and we go over to here to, to this uh, field, highlight it and then control, hit the keyboard control V to paste it in there. Now if we want it to match this up at half inch to one foot zero inch, we'll do the same thing here. So we're going to control V to override this. So now all the pen number one under the scale, half inch, three eighth, and three sixteen are all the same. So we select apply and then select OK. Now we zoom in, you can see that now at three eighth of an inch scale, the line weight will match this up. Now if we change it to half inch to foot, and we zoom out and zoom back in here, you can see that the two line weight also matches up.